In the year 860, a young boy arrived at a monastery in the kingdom of Northumbria, a special church where monks lived. This boy had gone there to be taught by the monks, to learn to read and write and do mathematics. He probably didn't expect to become a monk himself. But the history books tell us that after a plague affected the land, all the monks died apart from two. One was Curlfrith, the teacher of that boy. The other was the boy himself, who was now a monk called Bede. Bede became a teacher just like other monks, and he wrote many books to help others learn, not just reading, writing, and mathematics, but he also wrote books to help them learn the history of the Angles people in Britain. The Angles were the people who lived in the Kingdom of Northumbria, though when Bede wrote his book, he imagined that everybody who had come from the land of the Saxons and the land of the Jutes were Angles as well. He called them all Angles when he wrote his book, The Ecclesiastical History of the Angles People. Nabid didn't just teach, he also loved to sing. People said he was singing all the time. And a letter between his friends even said that Bede was singing as he died. We don't know exactly what Bede was singing when he died, but perhaps he was singing about how he had managed to bring all of the Saxons, the Jutes and the Anglers together under just one name, a name that we now call the English. <laughs>